Good evening, soul subscribers. My name is Reaper Pseudonym Grim, and welcome back to Disturbed. Oh man, oh I love this game. This game is so much. So last time we left off, we tried to kill a doggy, but doggy likes to bite my arm. I don't like you, doggy. I I just I just want to pet you with a sword in your fucking belly. But that's not the point. That is not the point. You keep biting me, man, and I die a painful death. Fuck that shit. I will find a way to kill you or pet you. I'm either gonna pet you or kill you. Or you're gonna kill me. Shut the fuck up. Oh, oh. Okay, so right now I can't kill it, so I gotta find another way. Oh, I, I didn't continue on. Oh, wait, no. I didn't want to go back in here and set up a bitch. Uh... Oh, that's, I mean. No, no. Okay. Uh. Oh, go left. And then go right. No. Shit. Well, okay. Fuck. Alright. Um. Let's go downstairs. No. I just went downstairs. I'm an idiot. I am a big derpy derp. Derp 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 derp. Oink, 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 oink. Let's go to the far door. The door struggles to move, but you enter in what appears to be a spider's den. The air is thick, and there's a sword on the ground. And the room is a mess with webs and body parts. You notice that there are a couple of items in the room that could be useful. If nothing else, there is a key on the ground that you would no doubt need. Holy fucking spider. Before you can even act, a large spider falls from above. You've no doubt that it is hungry. Without hesitation, the spider attacks you. You pull out the sword and stab the spider as it lunges at you. Over and over again, you stab the monster. Each time it squeals in frame because I'm fucking stabbing it. The spider flees in the darkness overhead. You hear it motioning about, possibly to strike again. You notice the key on the ground close by your feet. Four more trouble as you creep together and make some noise. Okay, cool. Fuel. You got what you need. There's no reason to go back in that room again. Nice. I wonder what that key is for. You discover what looks like a private library. There's a passageway before you with bookcases on the left and the right. Why not browse the books? Why not? You take a moment to look at the books. It's always good to look at the books. Dot, dot, dot. Some of them catch your eye. Which room only agents? Deception by music. I forgot the power. Uh, Deception by music. This is a bent page marking a section of the book. You turn to it. Dot, 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 dot. The art of charming is not necessarily limited to the instrument, but how the musician goes about playing given instrument. Some are definitely easier to use than others. And for a skill such as this, there are a few instruments recommended. The harp is one of these recommended instruments. For vicious dogs to shy unicorns, I figured out how to get rid of the dog. I need a harp. I need to grab a harp. The soothing voice of the harp can calm the troubled heart. Of course, not all creatures can fall for this simple trick, but it can mean the difference between life and death in some situations. Nice, nice. Okay, cool. Man, I fucking love this game. You flip around until something grabs your attention. Pillows of stone. Years before current times, there were unique religious practices that revolved Stonehenge. It is said that these stones are lined up in a special way and often organized in a circular pattern. Organizing stones this way unlocks a pan. Ah, unlocks an ancient power researchers still have trouble understanding. In the middle of the circle would have a stone or two for the keystone to rest on. This is a great mystery of the ancient practice. From ancient records, it is written that the energies of the surrounding stones channel the powers into the keystone. Okay. You stop reading because the next page has been torn out. Okay, so I gotta find, gotta find it somewhere. Flipping through the pages, there is one in particular that has ink marks all over it. Dot, da, da, dot, da, dot, da, dot, dot, da, da, dot, 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 da, dot, da, dot, 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 Raw energy is a powerful substance not to be trifled with. It is merely a myth that such energies exist. One does not simply walk into Mordor. Wait, that was the wrong, wrong. No, this is no time for dank memes. This is a time to be serious. But seriously, one does not simply walk into Mordor. <laughs> One does not simply stumble upon a pillar of godly power, even if such a fate is yours. Bare hands cannot contain the force. It must be bent and channeled into a specifically crafted vessel like an orb that is at the bottom of the motherfucking lake. 
There has been accounts across time of individuals possessing such power. Although they pass away as sand, their relics of power remain as powerful artifacts that nations around the world would fight for. Cool. Alright. 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 I'll go move forward. You walk up the stairs, you pause into the stone carving of a person praying as it's a Yeah, see, I was, I was looking at that too. There's something odd about it, but you can't put your finger on it. With caution, you continue up the stairs. You enter a strange room with a large globe centered about the room. There are windows that let the light shine through. You notice that there is a chest resting in the wall to your right. You notice that there is also another passageway like the previous rooms. Inspect the globe. You study the globe and attach... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, no, no. Uh, let's do that. I'll do that, just in case I die. <clears throat> you study the globe attached to the floor surface. The craft is made of a metal. And there is a fine detail in the grooves. There are various markings and names scattered across the globe. It takes you a moment, but you find markings of where you are. Amor. A Ramor. You notice that there are some hand-drawn markings within the area, made with black ink. There must be something close by that has an interest to the authors of these markings. To add to the mystery, there are similar markings on other areas around the globes. Some weird shit going on. Approaching the chest, you notice there was a lock fastened to it. With the key you found earlier, you try it out and lock. The lock clinks loose, and you open the chest. Fuck yes. <gasps> I found the motherfucking harp. I found the harp. I found the harp. The harp is mine. The harp is mine. The harp is mine. You will die, beast. You will die. Oh, no, wait. You can't kill anything with harp. You discover a small wooden harp resting in a living cloth. Nice. You take the harp and close the chest. Save that way. Yes. Return. Continue forward. You climb the stairs to find a wall ending your path. Above at the end of the store is a hatch. I want to go back. Let, I, I, I want to check out that. I want to see what's past the beast. The dog. The doggy dog. Do, el doggo. The middle. Yeah, the middle dog. Okay, cool. Alright. Hi, doggo. Hi, doggy doggy. Hey, poochie. Poochie, poochie. Poochie, poochie, poochie. Oh, hi, poochie. Hey, how you doing, poochie? Yeah, shit. Fucking weird ass looking motherfucker. The beast doesn't look very vicious, but one wrong move can surely be the end of you. You pull out the harp and begin to pluck out the strings. Na -na -na -na. Don't eat my face, Mr. Poochie. Dot dot dot. Da -da -dot, dot The hound begins to wag its tail. Yes, to your surprise, the beast walks away as if it was charmed by the harp. You never gave it much thought how powerful music could be. Which is what I always say, even though y'all don't really hear me say it. I say it. Music is awesome. Uh, oh, before I do anything. Ah, uh, damn it. I can't. Okay. Uh, I hope I'm not dying from this. Okay, so. We'll do that. Okay. Let's go back. Nice. Okay, so. Tell door on the right. Even though I could have saved right there. You enter the cell on the right. You see a wooden table on its side. Some debris on the floor and a large hole in the corner of the room. Seeing nothing special, you motion towards the hole. You discover a passageway underground. Unfortunately, all you can see is falling rocks blocking the way. Seeing that there is little you can do, you go back to where you came from. Okay. That was creepy. You open the door to find a skeleton position in the corner of the room. There's also a bed and some chains attached to the wall. You have no doubt this individual but the You have no doubt this individual was locked up for a long time. Inspecting the skeleton, you notice a ring on one of the bone fingers. Was it the middle ring? Because I'm holding up my middle finger. Although you guys can't see it because I have no camera. <laughs> I have no camera. Shit, I'm broke. Ooh. Oh, that looks pretty shiny. I just realized I haven't died in a long time. I am a I I I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, that that is an accomplishment in and of itself because I'm figuring shit out. So less dying. See, that's what happens. The more you figure out, the less dying you will be. Something like that. There's a faint glow of light emanating from the ring, as if it were magical. You find such a ring useful. Fuck yes, I do. Who would it, man? You take the ring and put it on with the perfect fit. Seeing that there is nothing of interest here, you leave the cell. Alright. I guess it's time to get the fuck out of here, so. See? And. 
huge door is it? Door on the right? Yeah, the door behind me. Now it's time to go up to the hatch. Open the hatch. You open the hatch and pull yourself up. Whoa! You made it to the top of the tower before you was a stone of power, resting upon an altar of rock. Dark vines have entangled the structure as if it were feeding off the energy of the stone. Your body begins to tremble as you stand before the stone. You definitely feel weaker being up here, as if the stone is sapping away your energy. Destroy the stone. You grasp your sword with a firm grip. You sing your might. Destroy the stone. Stone. The sword. Not the stone. The sword explodes into pieces as light bursts from the stones. You tremble in shock as the stone begins to feed off your fear. You can feel your life slipping away and you fall to the ground. <laughs> well, <laughs> there I go. I was saying how I didn't die and I fucking died. Everything becomes black and your mind drifts away into nothing. You die a quick yet painful death. Ow. The adventure ends here. You have no power here. What is that from? That is from something. Is that from Lord of the Rings? So I make a Lord of the Rings meme joke, but then don't forget that the Lord of the Rings... I, you, that's me spitting at you for being such a fucking douche. Fuck you and your face. Fuck your face. Your face sucks. Fuck it. Go outside. Oh, oh, that was just a guess. I, I was, I, oh, shit. Uh, you pull out the coin you found and toss it in the water. Found. The coin disappears with a subtle splash. The water fizzles for a moment, quickly returning to a lifeless state. Surely this must mean something. All right, let's see. That destroyed this, the stone. Okay, destroy the stone. Grass sword. Nope. I still died. Yeah, I still died. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if this works. So, okay, large fish comes a quick nose. You grab your sword and hold it close, pointed at the sword. Just as it gets the range, you thrust the sword at the top. The sword penetrates in the forehead, it struggles about in pain. Blood filters through the water. I fucking killed it. You pull the sword out, and the fish retreats out of sight. You doubt it will live long. With the fish no longer a threat, you make way to the orb. Oh, holding it in your hands, you feel it vibrate as if there is an energy inside it trying to break loose. This must be important. You exit the lake with the orb in your position. Possession. You pause to see that the lake... Oh. <gasps> stone hedges. Faint trail comes to an end. There's a collection of stone... P Let me see. <clears throat> stone pillars down the hill. Beyond the hill is a large field of grass. That's in, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, let's check out the stone pillars. Oh. You stand before a large stone. The range is put on the top of the circle. In the center is a stone of what appears to be some sort of slot or hole. No doubt about it. Something is meant to be placed there. You remember the orb you found on the floor of the lake nearby. You place the orb in the slot carved in the center rock. Stones around you begin to glow. The light radiating glows brighter. With the flash, your light surrounding change. Oh, with the flash of light, your surroundings change. The ground no longer is grass. The newly discovered floor appears to be very old as if crafted by somebody long ago. Rubble and stone near the edges of the platforms also hint that this is an ancient place. Looking onward, at the end of the pathway is a fountain of light. There seems to be no beginning or end, and endless power is steadily flowing. You're amazed at such a sight. Approach the light. Why not? The light, it intrigues me, and I'm a walk towards it. The ray of light brushes about you as if they're seeking to break away from its home. You remember the ring you found and pointed towards the light. Yes, Ring of Power. This is the Lord of the Rings. What the fuck? Your hand trembles as light flows into it. Before you can think, the ring begins to burn and you stumble back. The light shines brightly from the ring. You notice a subtle warmth to it as you observe. You feel as though you've accomplished what you must do here. And I'm a save. You pick up the orb. Oh. With the orb back in your possession, you walk out towards the trail. Field, yeah, yeah, then... I'm gonna explore the field. You find yourself gazing over a field with heels rolling off in the distance. Was that a unicorn? That was a fucking unicorn. Can I, can I, can I settle the, the unicorn? I'm gonna ride a unicorn. That's gonna be awesome. As if a trick upon your eyes, you see a unicorn run across the field. It disappears out of sight before you can do anything. Unsure of what is going on, you think of a way to tame the beast. You suddenly remember the harp you found earlier. With the harp in your hand, you pluck the strings. Na -na 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 -na. Unicorn, come to me. 
The soothing calms comes over there after you listen. The unicorn comes into view and stops before you. The unicorn glares at you. And you begin to hear a faint voice in your head. Human, have ear for my words. A great evil has gripped these lands, and it has rendered me powerless. You must find some way to stop it. I wish I could help you, but without my full power, I can do little. The fate of this land depends on you. Before you can speak, the unicorn turns and runs off again. You realize that you are alone to complete this quest of yours. This is no longer about saving your farm. You must save the whole land from the spreading darkness. I am a hero. You turn back as you question what you should do next. Okay. I get. I mean, my guess is the only thing left to do is to, because I got the ring of power now. I I I am now Lord Sauron. Or at the very least, I'm fucking Frodo. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can destroy the stone. Oh yeah, holding out the ring of power. Stretch forth your fist and point the ring at the stone. You feel the resistance as if, as if the stone is trying to defend itself from the English language that I cannot speak. You try to keep hope and focus on the ring. A burst of light shoots out from the ring, penetrating the stone. You feel the very air shake about. The ground beneath your feet begins to vibrate. The ring becomes heavier to hold in place, but you know that it is working. You feel confidence, and a sense of joy sweeps over you. The light intensifies, nearly blinding you. The ground beneath you shakes violently as if the tower was trying to stop you. A little fear in you becomes powerless as you focus on your task. Everything goes white, blinding you completely. A weird sensation comes over you, and you feel as light as a feather. You begin to feel a tingling sensation all over your body as you hone your senses. The feeling suddenly flees from your body as you can as you find yourself motionless. Everything is cold and your ability to concentrate begins to leave you. You open your eyes, witnessing what is left of the tower. Dot, dot, dot. You begin to feel something. Warmth, light, is coming back. It's the unicorn. And his and his horn is glowing. The unicorn. You lack the strength to talk as the unicorn comes into view. Light emanates from the horn on its head. All you can do is smile as the creature approaches. Don't stab me. Don't stab me. Are you going to stab me? I hope you don't stab me. You may have saved the land, but the unicorn has come to save you. Your adventure does not end here. All oh, unicorns and <laughs> rainbows. Fucking, I beat the game. I beat the game. Oh, I beat the game. Oh, that's amazing. That's awesome. I thought the unicorn was going to stab me. It took me off into the faraway land. I'm riding a unicorn like freaking... What's his name? John Marston in Red Dead Redemption. Because <laughs> you can ride a unicorn in that game. Oh, man. That was such an awesome game. Oh, I had so much fun playing it. So much fun figuring everything out. I love puzzle games. Puzzle games, puzzle games and RPGs are like my favorite games of all time. Because I like figuring stuff out. And then when the realization that you're like, oh, it's just amazing. So I highly recommend that you go check this game out. You know, you probably already did. I hope that you did. I pray that you check this out before I finished it. Because I do not like spoiling things for anybody. But anyway. Ah, mwah. Magnifique. C'est magnifique. Even though I'm Mexican and that was French. Magnifico. There you go. You racist bastards. <laughs> anyway. If you made it with me on this journey, have yourself a cookie and a trophy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and to share the video around. Spread it around like the light that was emanating from the ring of power as I ride a unicorn off into the distance. So, I hope you have yourselves a good evening, soul scribers. And until next time, I'm out.